Hello, welcome to ASIC Explanatory Solution. My name is Esso Ajala, and I'm going a step ahead in setting up database. Last tutorial, we looked at how to set up database structure using a single table. We set up the field names and then the data types. We look at the lookup wizard. So this second is about data validation. Can you repeat that? Data validation. Okay, thank you. Data validation. When you say validation, validation is a check done by the computer to ensure that the data you are entering into the computer is allowed, is permissible, is correct. For example, when you need to enter your, your let's say your first name and mistakenly you entered your date of birth, the computer should be able to say, no, something is wrong. Or when you need to fill in a required field and you didn't fill it in, the computer should be able to tell you that something is missing here. Okay, sorry for the break or the transmission it was a necessary one. Okay, um, now I'm going to demonstrate two types of validations. That's talking about the presence check and the range check. For example, if you are filling a form on the internet or on any device, as the case may be, on any platform, and then you see a field with a red asterisk, you will know that it means it is a required field. If you don't fill it in, and then you click on the submit submit button, it will take you back and say you need to fill this field. That's talking about present check. So for the title field. I want to turn on the presence check. So you click on the title field, maybe the data type or the field name, then come down here to the field properties. Under the general, look for required. Required is here. So we have no. No is there by default, saying that that field is not a required field. But if I require it, that means I want it to be present. I think this works. Did you say yes? You got it. Okay. You say yes. So I've validated this title field as yes. So you must enter your title. I, I could do the same for first name. I change it to yes. So you must enter your first name. You cannot skip that. So all the fields that are required, you can change that. Okay. So let's save our work. Save. And then that is done. I'm going to test that later. Don't forget for our marital status or what is a marital status field, we use a, a drop down list. So, drop down list is also a form of validation because you cannot pick any other thing apart from what is in the drop down list. And then you cannot type anything incorrectly, it will not accept it if it is not in the drop down list. So, we have done um, the presence check. The drop down list, and then I want to show you the range check. Range check will look at the it's usually used for like numeric or date and time, looking at the acceptable numeric value. For example, let's look at this date and time. We want people to be able to enter their date of birth, and we want to know maybe it's within a particular year. Let's say you are setting up a website and then you don't want anybody that is lower or younger than 15 years old to be able to maybe sign in. You can set up this validation check and look at the range check and limit them within the allowable age limit. So for this date of birth, you want to allow them, if you are any year from 1930, January 1st and above should be allowed. So that is the criterion 
for the range check. So you come to this validation rule, validation rule, validation rule. That's where you type the criterion. So I'm looking at greater than, it could be less than, it could be greater than, equals to, less than, equals to, and other validation rules, syntaxes that we use. So I'm going to use greater than, that means the age you enter was greater than 0, 01. That's for the day. Forward slash 0, 01 for the month. Forward slash 1930. So anybody that is that comes above the and um, below this, it will not be accepted. Okay, so let's do right click, save, and then go to design and um, data sheet view this is where we can enter our data for now so we validated this field let's put let's try 01 01 1929 which shouldn't be allowed so you can see one or more values are prohibited by the validation rule set for sample table data but enter a value that the expression for this field can accept okay so you cannot enter this so let's enter 1931 so you can see this is allowed this is allowed so we have validated this so let's let's try it said pi 2 must be must be there so let me leave that blank and say first um first name let's say Semi last name is the Lizzy. What is your marital status? Okay, let's try and see. Um, let's spell single incorrectly. Single, single. Okay, then I tap button. Can you see? I'm going to the next tab. The test you enter is not an item in the list. Do you want to edit the items in the list? I said no, so I must pick one of these. So I validated that. Next field again, I press um, the, 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 the tab button. I hit the tab button to go to the next record. You must enter a value in the sample table title field. Can you see? So it's telling me that I must enter a value here because I've set up a ring, sorry, a presence check validation here. So this title field cannot be left blank. That's what this guy is telling me now. Okay, that shows that my validation is working. Okay, so let me just say, Mister. Okay. Oh, so I can now fill in the second record. So our validation is working. Thank you. Once again, validation is a check done by the computer to ensure that the data that you have entered is permissible is allowed is correct and there are different types and we have looked at the presence check we have looked at the range check and then we have seen like using a drop down list there are other forms of validation the format check the pictures check uh, the limits check as the case may be and other advanced one like the crc the cyclic redundancy check but well, this are sufficient for now Thank you for watching. I'm sure you can practice this now. And you are no more afraid of database software or database as a case may be. Thank you. Please subscribe, share, and like the videos and other resources in this ASIC Explanatory Solution channel. Thank you. My name once again is Esra Jala. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.